In this video, we're going to use HTML code to add images to a web page. To add an image to a web page, we can use the image tag, which is IMG, and we need to specify the path and file name for the image file that we want to use using the source attribute. So we can say image source or IMG space SRC equals, and then in quotation marks, we specify the path and file name. Uh, to close off the image tag, we just add a forward slash and closing angle bracket there. We don't need to have an, a matching image tag at the end there. So I have a folder here uh, inside. I have my website folder and inside that folder, I've got my index.html file, which is the one I'm using, my, my homepage. And I also have an images folder here. And I want to use this image file here. It says photo.jpg. So it's a JPEG image and it's just a landscape photo. So I need to remember exactly how that's spelt. I need to make sure that it's spelt exactly the same in my code. And I need to make sure that I reference that folder as well. So it's images forward slash and then photo.jpg. And you can use files of different type. We could use PNG images, we could use GIFs. Um, but you need to make sure that you specify the correct path, file name, and extension. So now that I've specified the file, I can go and open the web page in the browser, and there we go. We see the heading and we see the image there, and it's quite large. So I might go back and change the size. To do that, we can use the width and the height attributes. So I know the size of the image uh, in pixels, and I want it to be about a third of the original image size. So I'm going to change the width to 426 pixels and the height to 284. So width equals 426, height equals 284. I'll save that, go back and refresh, and there we go. The image is taking up about a third of its original size. Um, we can also just specify one property. If I wanted to make this image a bit taller and sort of stretch it out a little bit, I could do that. I could specify a different height and it'll stretch it out. But if I want to maintain the proportions, I don't actually have to specify both values. I can just, if I want, specify the width or the height. And the image will automatically resize to that width that I've specified, uh, as well as the height. So it'll uh, resize the image to the width I've specified, but automatically change the height as well to maintain the original proportions of the image. So you don't actually need to specify both width and height. You can just specify one value. And you can also use percentage instead. So I could change this to 50% instead of specifying a pixel value. If I save and refresh, uh, the image is taking up about half the width of the page there. So we've looked at the source attribute, we've looked at the width and the height attributes. There's another attribute we can also add, which is the alt attribute. And this is for alternative text. So if for some reason the image didn't load, either because the file was missing, it had been moved to a different folder or deleted, or maybe the, uh, uh, the directory and the file name specified in source attribute was incorrect or misspelled, what we can do instead is just display some text. So it could just be a description of the image. So for example, I might say landscape photo. And if we go and refresh the page, we won't see anything different here. But if I was to misspell the file name, or if I was going to, uh, if I had deleted this file or moved it to a different folder, it won't be able to load that image because it won't be able to find it, but it will display this alternative text instead. It says landscape photo there. Okay, just fix that back up and we've got our image. So that's how to add an image to a web page. It's really important that you make sure you specify the correct path, so any folders that the image is within inside your website, and also the correct file name spelt uh, correctly and the file extension as well. One last thing that we'll look at is how to make an image a link to another page. In the uh, previous tutorials, when we were looking at how to add links to a web page, 
I mentioned that just about anything on the web page can be made into a link. So you can make a link within text, uh, but you can also make images a link uh, and other elements on a page, uh, such as lists, could also be a link. So what we'll do in my images folder, I have a, an image here called button.png, and it's just a button that says click me. And I'm going to make it so when you click that button, it will take you to uh, the second page here, page two, uh, which just says welcome to page two and has a link to go back to the home page. So I can use the ahref tag, or a tag with the href attribute, and I'll specify that I want the link to take me to page two dot html and just close off that a tag there but within the a tag there in the inner html i'm going to also use an image tag so that the link is actually an image so i'll say image source equals just uh, close off that image tag there and it's in the images folder and it's button.png so i'll say images forward slash button dot png save that go back and refresh the page and actually might just add a uh, a break there or could add a paragraph tag i'll just add a break tag so it's on a new line there we go i'll click that button and it takes me to page two and i can click here to go back so that's how you can make an image uh, a link instead of just text uh, so it's quite useful if you want to use uh, images on a page as buttons to for the user to be able to click on and go to other pages. Anyway, that's it for this video. That's how to add images to a web page. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.